Hello everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and I'm going to share with you my newly completed album featuring Mona Moore from Graphic 45 just in time for Valentine's Day. So this is a large album. So this is eight and a half or actually eight and a quarter by 11, eight and a quarter by 11. So it's one of my larger format albums, which is kind of nice. I think um, Valentine's Day can be a nice event and you can have several photos. I featured Graphic 45's triumphant red roses on the cover. I put filigree here, here, and then I used a charm for his tie. I thought that was pretty clever. Um, this is a cut apart from inside uh, the album chipboard. Another um, charm right here. And then here's a piece of chipboard here, here. And this is fussy cut from the collection pack, the 12 by 12 collection pack. And then there's a little fussy cut part right there as well. So that is the cover. I've got a nice simple flat back. We did a wrapped spine, which I'm a huge fan of, especially in these larger formats because it helps pull everything to the center of the cover. So there's our beautiful cover. I did some color blocking on the inside and back liners. And here we are. I have to keep scooting it back and forth because it's such a large format. Here we are on page one. I've got a nice um, ephemera journaling card right here. This opens to the left and right, plenty of room for photos. And then this is a tag that you can add photos and journaling to, and then two small form four by four photos. Okay, page two, we have a card that opens to the left and a larger card that opens to the right. I think that turned out really pretty. These are just cut aparts from the um, 12 by 12 collection pack. And over here we have a gatefold, so it opens left and right, and then I've got a shallow pocket located on each side, and I've placed a card inside. Everything is held closed with nice magnets. Page four and five. This is a nice seven and a half by five and a half finished mat, so five by seven photos will fit perfectly here and on the inside. And then this is six and a half by five and a half. So this is also another large format photo. And then this was something I just stuck here. I think I'm gonna use that when I actually go to look at putting photos in. I wanted to pull the pattern back in on this page. Okay, and here is page six and seven. I think this is my favorite spread in the album. This is um, a nice large flap with uh, two elements extending the flap. There we go. This um, has a flap that opens like so, and then it also opens like this, and this is a nice five by seven. This is a pocket. So you've got this nice framed matted photo, and then you've got this that opens like so. And then this is just a small tuck spot right here where I put a journaling card. So I, I think this is my favorite. Um, and you may notice, if you haven't, I'm going to point it out, every single page is different. This is a nice little tuck spot. This opens straight up. And then to the left and right, we've got these nice shallow pockets. Okay, and then here is page eight. I just did some creative uh, matting right here. This opens to reveal four large photo mats on both sides. In addition, there is an, another very large photo mat that's behind the whole thing. Okay, there we go. So this is, uh, I think these, uh, this is one of my favorite pages too. And then there's the back liner. So that is Mona Moore uh, in the cut list. Uh, there's a material list, and the material list I used one DCE that was 12 by 12 and one DCE that was 8 by 8, and I found myself short of paper. So what we're doing now is taking a DCE and splitting it into three packs, which have one um, 
of each of the patterns. So there's, there are packs of eight, so it has one of each of the patterns, and you'll need to buy that as well to complete this album. Um, if you want more um, paper to further fill some of your insert spots, you'll need additional paper. So it is gonna take all of a 12 by 12 DCE, eight by eight DC, plus eight single sheets. And then if you want more, then it would be two 12 by 12 DCEs. And part of the reason is because it's such a large format. So these pages are, the pocket pages themselves are um, 10 and a half by, yeah, 10 and a half by eight. So they're quite large. So um, eight by eights are gonna fall short in some areas. Hope you guys enjoy. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. Sorry, it was so late to get this out. I just uh, really kind of got stuck on a couple of pages and couldn't come up with something new. So uh, the next project I have is going to be a Stampery project and um, the, the paper is called Desire. And as a quick reminder, um, we are now selling these finished albums in our shop. So check out Design by Daphne and you'll see what's available and listed right now for you to purchase. Thanks a lot, guys. See you soon.